last video, I spent 1 million coins on cases, and loads of you guys asked how you could make that much money. Don't worry, I'm gonna put you on game. Let me introduce you to the rapid, get rich, quick, F jab, super mega, non illegal, IRS evading, player manipulating, money making, super califragilistic, expialidocious, sales machine method. <gasps> The F jabs method. Before we get into this absolute money printer of a strategy, I'm obliged to remind you that YouTube told me that 97% of you aren't subscribed. So I'll give you three seconds to fix that or else. Done? All right, let's do this. But first, we've got speed run through some basics. In UBG trade servers, sellers post messages in chat to promote their sale. They put what they're selling and the price they're selling at, like this. Buyers will look for the lowest price there is. And if somebody is selling for lower than you, you're fucked. I've started to get this feeling that I'm totally totally fucked and this is exactly where our problem is you don't want to lower your selling prices but buyers don't want to raise their offers deadlocked don't worry my friend i'm going to teach you how to get around it lucky's been straight for 25 to 35 thousand but most sellers will place it at the higher price here's the part where most people go wrong buyers try and lowball the seller in the trade menu that's a rookie mistake okay the seller knows someone else will buy it for their price even if it isn't you but what if just maybe somebody was selling lucky spins for lower than them nobody in their right mind would buy something for more than they have to it's not worth it in economics, we call this the substitution effect, and the original seller will put his prices lower than his competitor to make the sale. The question is, how can I make some money? Be patient, you specky door. I'll show you how easy it is. Our first step is going to be trying to find someone with something valuable. Eight lucky crates. That is exactly what we want. Let's see how much he says. If he gives a reasonable price, it's fine. Let's see what he says. I want I want to see his price first. We're going to advertise them at 25k each. We're going to wait a bit and keep sending these messages and see how much he offers. And here's a tip. While you wait for them to reduce their price, don't accept any offers. We're just gonna hold our price and wait for it. Wait for it? Wait for it? Okay, it's been a bit of time. We've had a few offers. We're gonna ask him what he's selling it at still. Let's see what the price is. Pay how much your crates? 27k each. Hopefully he accepts it. And there we go. We've made our first trade. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell these for even more than they're actually worth. See, I didn't actually have any lucky crate, but I still managed to negotiate my way into buying them for less. <laughs> I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. Selling lucky rates for 32k. Actually, no, we'll pump it up to 35k each. If we sell it for this price, we're gonna make 24k worth of profit, which isn't that bad for about 15 minutes worth of trading. And even if he tries to lower the price, that doesn't matter because we've still made a profit. I'll do that for one because one spin is worth 1,000. That is essentially 37,000. Accept that, and there we go. We've made over 25k profit in under 15 minutes. That's retarded. That is the F jabs method in a nutshell. And there we go. If you look at one case, we've made 10K profit. All I need to do is repeat that and I'll have made 30K profit total. And here's another offer. Here we go. Let's try and sell it. Bandages. Oh, that's worth it. You want lucky crates. Sometimes you have to ask them. Sometimes they don't understand it. Even then, that's still worth it. We've made more profit than we paid. We take that. Bandages, 30,000. Already, that's value. Obsidians, 5,000. And then he gave us 10 spins. That's another 10,000. But on that crate alone, we made 18,000 in profit. We're in the money. Let's see if we can get this last crate done. And I'll show you how much I had before and how much I have after. And you'll just see the difference. Okay, we've got an offer from somebody. Let's see how much he thinks they are. 30k, he knows his values. He's right. I'm going to accept that because at the moment I can sell that emote spin for much more. Because of the update that's just come out, that's actually worth it. Normally they're only worth 20k. But even then, we've made profit there. I don't think we made cash profit, but if we take into account the spins we got, which are 1,000 each, that's pretty good. But we did just get an emote spin, so let's see what we can get for that. We're going to sell it for 35k again. All right, we've got an offer for our emote spin. Let's see if he accepts it. There we go. Let's see if he accepts it, and that would lock in us at 100k, and that's some significant profit. And there we have it. We have 120,000 coins in the bank. And there you go, that's what, like 40k profit? And that's just ignoring the spins that we got. We're on 238 spins now. So that is really impressive. And that is just proof that the F-Jabs method really does work. So if I had to summarize the F-Jabs method into five simple steps, I'd do it like this. One, find the price of an item you want. Lucky spins, lucky crates, unusual gloves, etc. Two, advertise that same item for less than that price. This will make the seller lower their price for you. Three, buy the item you wanted for the lower price. Four, sell that item for more than you bought it 
and make a decent profit. Five, repeat until you're a bajillionaire. So you've seen the F-Jabs method in action. All you need to do now is scale it up. Someone selling gloves for 500,000, sell them for 450. Someone selling a style slot for 400, sell one for 380. If you follow my step, you'll be worth millions in no time. But why would you want to be rich on your own? Send this video to your friends to make it out the UBG hood together.